Yeah, so um, we're just going to check out the demo of SoulForge. If you just want to talk about it while while you're walking us through it. Yeah, okay. sure. So I'm, I'm showing you a game in progress here so you can see some of the mechanics that are going on. Um, so this is every turn you're drawing a hand of five cards. You'll play any two of those cards. Your opponent's cards are going to be in the lane opposite, so any creatures you play are going to automatically fight whatever's opposed to them. Um, creatures that are grayed out, are um, they've, they've just come into play, so they're in what we call defensive mode. Some of you may know this is summoning sickness. Uh, and so they won't attack right away, but they will defend if they're against a creature that's not. So for example, I'm going to place this guy here. He's got uh, he's a 2-8 that gives adjacent guys a bonus, um, levels up into the higher level versions. Um, whenever you play a card, that copy of the card goes into play and then another one levels up and goes to your discard pile so we'll play this guy and you'll watch the higher level version go into your discard pile um, and then you have other types of cards you can play that are structures um, which work sort of like constructs and ascension or enchantments and magic um, and so those can go into a lane as well as a creature um, so I'm gonna put uh, one of those over here this does two damage to something in the opposing lane each turn um, so we'll start a combat You'll see this guy's going to come through and attack me. There's no creatures opposing it, so he's going to do eight damage to me. I've already taken some. You start at 100. If you get knocked down to zero, you're out. These guys are going to fight. Damage is sticky. So here, you'll watch this happen. So even though I'm going to win this battle, I go from being a 2-8 down to a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Um, and so now I've, and I took the eight damage, so I've been reduced. So then I'm going to go and end the turn. Now I've leveled up, which means I've reshuffled my deck into my discard pile, and so now I'm going to have access to my higher level cards. Cool. So that happens every four turns in the game. So uh, now we're going to the opposing turn. So you see these things all have swapped. Uh, the fire field did its thing and did two damage, uh, knocking out the, uh, the zombie guy. Uh, I got a kill spell here. So you can see just the first level version, which kills a one, just kills a rank one, kills a rank one or two and then kills rank one or two for free, and you get to play an extra card, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna kill this guy just so I can level that up, because I wanna have access to it later. And we'll play a random critter. Um, actually, I'll pump up my guy, just because I like having a giant hy regenerating Hydra. And fight. Um, these fire fields aren't doing anything relevant now, because there's nothing in the lane. And then we'll swap over. Um, so you can see the very basic mechanics of this game are super simple. They're designed to be picked up very easily. But the strategies, and you know, this is a board game geek crowd, so you know, I want to really talk through a lot of that strategies. Is you know, it becomes apparent as you know the card pool better, as you know what to do. So you have things like the dragon egg, which is terrible at level one, but then becomes a pretty good level two card and an insane level three card. So you're making sacrifices early for a late game strategy, or you could play more of a sort of aggressive strategy, like you have this guy here that's. He's fast, or <clears throat> haste, uh, so they get to attack right away. You can try to do a lot of damage and knock somebody out before they can start um, putting their level threes into play. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to go through it. Um, we can walk you through some more mechanics, but you've got the basic gist of what's going on. There's four different colors in the game. Um, we have elemental, mechanical, uh, nature, and death. Okay. Um, and then they all have their own different strategies, and you can mix and match them, of course. Um, so it's really something that's a lot of fun, and and one of the things I like to, you know, uh, you know, Board Game Geek is uh, where we got started. You know, we brought Ascension out there, and you guys have been a huge part of our fan base. I know a lot of people are sort of afraid of the the digital game world, um, and I think it's not something that we should be afraid of because, you know, Ascension. When Ascension went on to iOS, we brought a ton more people into the board game world, and they came and they bought the physical copies of Ascension. They tried out other games, and I think you're going to see the same thing with SoulForge. It gives people an easy bite-sized way to access the world and then become a part of the gaming culture that we love right we all love to have those strategies we all love to be able to connect with our friends and play and now I don't have to just have the friends that I can sit with at the same table but my friends all across the world that I can play with uh, lightning bolt you haha um, and so there's a lot of fun to be had um, you know the game is free to play you can play in the campaign mode and earn cards um, you know we're working on some of our stretch goals on Kickstarter to be able to have cooperative play modes animated cards really take advantage of the fact that you know we love the great gameplay from the board game world but some of the freedom that the digital world allots us so you know if any of you guys that want to help support us we have a campaign going on through the uh, Wednesday um, any donations um, if you donate hundred dollars or more to the Kickstarter campaign you'll get 10 free packs in addition to all the other goodies, everybody that donates at all gets access to the beta, tons of cool free stuff, um, and you know you really get to be a part of something. Working with Richard Garfield, you know, sort of the founder of the trading card game category, has been awesome. Um, and so we're, you know, we look to hear from you and help to shape this thing and help really make it happen. Awesome, thank you. And it, it looks like you're really focused on, you know, making a free-to-play experience that will work with, 
you know this crowd and this genre? Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the free to play I think got a bad rap as a uh, you know as a model because it's you know everybody thinks like Farmville and thinks about these you know games that don't have any real depth to it, and I think that's that's crazy talk. I mean, you know, what we want to do is allow for you know some people that can just experience the game and have that strategy and have that exploration, and then there's other people who are gonna you know want to be able to play competitively. We're gonna have tournaments like you know in you know draft style tournaments and constructed style tournaments. Um, there's a storyline to the game that you can influence as a player based on how you go and how people collectively behave in turn you know in the campaign mode and winning tournaments with certain factions will have an impact on the storyline so we've really tried to be able to do a ton of different stuff that we know and love from the traditional gaming world and that we've seen can be improved in the digital gaming world and you know provide that experience so I you know I really hope that uh, you know board game geek uh, fans are, are behind us um, you can go to soulforgegame.com uh, chat on our forums check out our Facebook page and of course the Kickstarter which has only got another 10 days left so you know this is the chance to really be a part of something. Well, Soul Forge is going to be available on uh, iOS so it'll be on the iPhone and iPad as well as PC and we actually announced recently that we're guaranteeing we're going to be moving to Android um, and so it's going to be something that was our number one requested feature. It's the number one requested feature we get on Ascension 2 and we are working on it um, but for right now we're you know we're, we are going to move this to Android so that more people can play it more people can have access to it um, but you know we need that that Kickstarter to really kind of get us to get us across that line so we're very close but uh, you know we're hoping to to, to get the rest of the way there. Great. Thank you very much. Cool. cool. So